Hey folks, Keep the 93 Lumber, coming back at you with another beer. This is Muckraker. It's Growler. Crowla. It's it is their peach blueberry cobbler. 7% alcohol by volume. It says drink within three days. We went to Muckraker on Sunday. I lost a few days this week because I was sick. So I am getting to them now. And hopefully they're still good. I know like a couple of times we get like a bunch of crawlers and then we forget about them in the fridge for like weeks and then they're not good anymore, but a couple extra days so it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too bad. Holy shit. That color is super cool. Um, Obviously, it's a crowler. It does not not have the beer information on here. Um, I don't remember. I didn't look it up because I use my phone to record. And I'm doing a few reviews, so I'm not going to keep taking it off the tripod because I have a shitty tripod. And I'm just not doing that to myself. Yeah, that's like a... That's a... That's like a ruby color. Little kind of... Uh, Uh, a little orangish, reddish, orange. It's a red orange leaning red. I would I would say. Kind of amber. There's like, yeah, I'm getting all sort of sort of tinges of things. A little like brownish in there as well. Not much of a head. I'm sure it was aged in oak, or at least if it's a blend, part of it was aged in oak for at least some period of time. Uh, yeah, let's see what it smells like. Yeah, definitely has a, uh, like a tart acidity to it. Vanilla? Vanilla, I think. It also smells like there's some sort of spice, like there's like nutmeg or, or uh, shit, I'm trying to remember. Uh, nutmeg or cinnamon or something. I don't know. I wish I had my laptop in here, I would just break it open and uh... maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just edit edit it so it jumps ahead to that part. Not right now. Later in the video. Stay tuned. Yeah, it smells really good. It's got a nice, uh, like, it, it does have, like, a this, like, because I don't know if it's just, like, the spices that are giving me uh, the vibe, but it smells like pie. Like, it's giving me, like, like, because there is... I don't know if it's in there or if if it's just my brain telling me there is, but there is like this, it smells like, you know, when a pie comes right out of the oven and you can smell like the crust is just like warm and mm, it smells like that. I made sure to microwave this. So it's, so it's a nice, uh, 75 degrees. I was just kidding. I took it out of the fridge. Smells good. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of peachiness. I forgot that there was fruit in there. Yeah, maybe a little bit of peachiness. Um, I know he uses fresh blueberries and, or at least as far as I, I know, he uses fresh blueberries. I don't know if something for like this he would use puree, but I'm pretty sure he uses all fresh fruit all of the time. Pretty sure, pretty sure of that. Um, and I know sometimes blueberry doesn't really come off in the, it comes off very subtle. Yeah, it might be in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink it. Cheers. Mm. 
if I remember correctly, his draft list was from least tart to most tart. This was in the number one position. So this is the least tart beer. It is not that tart. There is, there is this like, I don't know what kind of sweetness, like, cause like there's like that, like candy sweetness, but it's not that maybe, uh, what's that like, um, What's that like powdered sugar? Kind of, there's like a powdered sugar sweetness to it. Is that confectionery sweet, uh, sweetness? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Confectionery sweetness, maybe that's. And when I say that, I don't mean that it's overly sweet. There is just like this sweetness in there. There's a nice tartness that comes right after that. There is I'm going to say there's vanilla. I'm, I'm doing this like it's a mystery beer, but I'm going to say there's, there's vanilla in it. And, uh, that, that spice thing doesn't come off as like it did in the, in the nose. So, but I'm pretty sure if it was going for a peach blueberry cobbler, there's a cinnamon or nutmeg or something in it. This is really good. And I like that this is not too tart. I am starting to feel it in in here a little bit, but that's why I bought a bunch of Tums in the last couple of days because I am getting older mm. and stuff like this affects me more than it used to. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm going to say there is like this earthy thing in there and I think, cause it's not coming off like it's like, like wood aged or oak aged or, or anything like that, but there is this earthy thing in there and I have to think that it's, that it's that because it's not coming off like it's, 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 um, like, it's like a, it's not coming off like a negative thing. It's not coming off like it's. Like it's because it, it was sitting in the fridge for a couple days longer than, than it should have been. It's a, it's a very like spritzy carbonation too, but not like seltzer, like, like it's like seltzer, but like smaller like the little like tingly uh, carbonation thing is like small, like, like it feels like it's like seltzer, but smaller bubbles kind of, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah. I'm a fan. <clears throat> I've got a few more of these to drink. I don't know if I'm going to review all of them, but whatever. Oh yeah. I was going to, I was going to go get my laptop. So, uh, just stay right there and I'll be back in a. Okay. So <clears throat> I had to do a little digging because apparently it's not on the tap list anymore. So I had to revert to Instagram. Uh, Peach Blueberry Cobbler, super fruited farmhouse ale, re-fermented on six pounds per gallon of hand-crushed, pitted John Boy peaches from Cumberland County and five pounds per gallon of second-use Atlantic County blueberries. I didn't even talk about if I was getting peach or blueberry or anything like that. I, I didn't even talk about the fruit aspect of it, which 
I'll get into it here, but reading this. We conditioned the final blend on Uganda vanilla beans before hitting it with Indonesian cinnamon and nutmeg. 7% alcohol by volume. So, <clears throat> it wasn't cinnamon or nutmeg or nutmeg or cinnamon. It was both. And it was vanilla. So the fruit is coming off with that with that sweetness in there, which it must be the vanilla. That that sweetness must be the vanilla. Cause it's like this creamy thing. And you're getting a whole new me. My my mind is open now, now that I know what's actually in here. Um but the both the blueberry and the peach like specifically those uh those fruit flavors are very subtle but they come off a little jammy with that with that vanilla in there yeah there's a nice bitterness it must be Hmm. Cause usually he'll say if it's if it's barrel aged, but there's but there's this like there's this earthy thing that is reminding me of like wood. And I was going to say that it maybe it's the peach pits, but it's they're pitted peaches. They're pitted. Maybe it's maybe it's coming from the blueberries because blueberries can be kind of bitter. Even though it's not really bitter, but it's like this earthy thing. I don't know. It's really good. I'm chugging it. It's 7%. I have more beers to drink. I shouldn't be chugging it, but whatever. You only die once, right? Might as well, uh, I can do whatever. I'm going to put this over here. So yeah, oh, I'm going to bring this back. Um, so yeah, my Quaker, awesome things. So we went on Sunday, quick story. We went on Sunday and we hadn't been there for a few weeks just because uh, Katie's days off changed a little bit and and I wasn't feeling well. Um, and uh, the... And we usually go like at least once, uh, like we like to go have a couple beers once a week, once every two weeks, usually at least. And we hadn't gone for like three or four weeks. And I just felt like it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a good time for me. I was like, I really want to go to Muckraker and it just didn't work out. There were a couple days where I could have gone by myself, but I didn't want to. So, fun story, or quick story. Uh, if you're in or around the, that's Sussex County. Yeah, Sussex County. You should check out Muckraker. Actually, to make a short story longer, or a long story shorter, or whatever the kids say, whatever. I'm sick. You can't. You can't blame me. Um, Katie and I went on our first date at a brewery. I won't name the brewery, but it's not Muckraker. And since since then. Muckraker has kind of been like our brewery, like our place to go. Despite that, it's not the place 
because the other place was kind of our place to go, kind of, but Muckraker just over the last year, Katie and I have been together for a year and just, uh, what's today? I know I'm rambling, but, uh, just over, uh, just over 13 months. And yeah, Muckraker has become our, our kind of our place. So check out Muckraker. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to make this video any longer. So I'm just going to say, I hope you're doing well. Taking care of yourself. Taking care of each other. You can like this video if you'd like to. You can subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. That's spelled out, 93lumber. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>